Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Playing With Myself. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Polynomial. This game is kind of hard to describe, it's basically an arcadey shooter set in a Windows Media Player visualizer. It's got a lot of options here as you can see, but I'm not going to mess with most of that stuff because I have no idea what it does. But one of the coolest things about this game is that you can actually upload your own tracks and play them in the game and the environment will kind of pulse and react to it in real time. So instead of doing that, I'm going to take a look around this game real quick and let the uh, in-game music play out because I want to explain some of the stuff about it. Because when I play the tracks that I'm going to play, I kind of want to just shut up and let them play out. So as you can see, I'm flying through some upgrades here, and they will uh, help me do some stuff like I can move a little bit faster. I have auto-aim now, which is that circle that appeared around my crosshair. And I assume that the uh, two bullets will just maybe help me fire faster or stronger bullets. Even with the in-game music, the environment's reacting and it's moving along. It's set on a laser show right now. It looks absolutely fantastic. I really like the design behind this game. But basically all you have to do in this game is you shoot these little things. I think they're called Nazi robots. At least that's the way the game describes them. And that's kind of it. You're basically looking at a high score at the top left there. It'll tell you how many enemies you shot in your current score. And right now I'm not doing too well. As you can see, my I'm getting some screen tearing and stuff like that, which is actually part of the game. And that means that I died. The only real consequence of dying is that you lose your score. But this game is much more about sort of the audio-visual experience of seeing a song play out in real time. And it's really cool. So, having explained all that, I'm just going to load up a track here by a buddy of mine. The track is called The Cosby Crow by Sam Guthrow. So, here we go. And still, boom, 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 headache, pain, oh, we fatigue, everything. It's kind of pulsing to the beat there, which is really cool. But I'm not going to talk too much, I'm just going to let this play out. Now the, uh, the FTL menu theme music is playing, which should look absolutely spectacular, and it totally does. So I'm actually going to take this opportunity right here to switch the level, which you can totally do. You can do it on the fly. There's no real progression. Just kind of whatever level you want to play. I like this one a lot. Let's do super waves.
So yeah, that was the polynomial. It's a very pretty game if you have the right music, as you guys just saw. And I think it's only about $3 on Steam, so it definitely might be worth checking out. It's kind of an, a, a very cool audiovisual experience. That was probably like the best experience I just had with it right there. It was, that was really awesome. So yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.